Smith, Selena Gomez, and Orlando Bloom were spotted hanging out Ooh. together. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes stars gear up for its release at the San Francisco premiere, and Deadline.com has all the highlights. There have been reports that Ellen's controlling ways, that she is supposedly very controlling, has pushed Portia oh. into an alleged depression. Uh, there are reports that she might have gone to rehab for it recently. Remember we told you that Selena Gomez had followed everybody on yes. Instagram? Well, guess what? Justin Bieber unfollowed Selena on Instagram. Katie was really scared, so she decided, you know what? This is it. I gotta get Suri out of this, and I don't want to raise her as a Scientologist. There was a major battle over where to bury her and who would have the rights to her body. And I like that she's flirting publicly with him and showing that, you know, she's not upset over Justin. But I actually think, though, that maybe she is still a little bit upset. Hey, guys. It's Chloe Malas here, back with another update from the Gossip Table. Columbus goes on to deny claims made by his estranged wife, Tanae McCall, made in court documents accusing him of threatening to stab her. Hey guys, it's Chloe, and we got a chance to catch up with Iman, world famous supermodel, and she explained why she decided to wear purple tonight, who picked out her outfit, and what she is expecting to see at this year's Fashion Week. All right, Miley, if you don't want people speculating about your love life, don't sing songs about love. I'm telling you, American Hustle will win tonight, has seven nominations. Um, that's the most of the evening. Ridiculous. Then he also goes on Twitter and writes three tweets. Again, he doesn't want his life to be in the public eye. Happened. All right, so you're right. So Paris, 14 years old, she is at the helm of this. She's like, where is my grandmother? But no one really knew just how bad things had gotten. She actually voluntarily checked herself into rehab uh, about last week. And viewers may definitely tune in to see is a reunion between Lauer and his one-time co-anchor, Katie Curry. Other people are just ripping them to shreds. All right, so we were all talking about this before the show. It's kind of like, you know, when you confront um, a boyfriend or something, you're trying to get them to tell you the truth, and then they just keep talking and talking talking and talking and you almost feel like does it make them seem a little bit guilty. My favorite part was when he actually said that Drake was going to be debuting his sex tape at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival this weekend in Indio, California. I have to say it was pretty shocking to see Khloe Kardashian and Kendall Jenner call Kris Jenner a whore. At HollywoodLife.com we can confirm that Nia was written out of this season's finale. That's not good, okay? No. They couldn't get the store at first, so I'm sure they're not going to be happy with guns photos and things like that. French Montana and them boys out there also. <laughs>